Yo, it is good, yo, it's your boy Ty back here with another video and in this video today guys, we're going to be going over how to get the new Amethyst Jeremy Grant in NBA 2K23, my team, as well as talking his, about his stats, badges, and animations. Now, here's what we know about Jeremy Grant, okay, and I'm just going to kind of briefly go over some things. Uh, on 2k database before hopping back to here to look at the agendas for the car jeremy grant here six eight seven two wingspan hot spots from four to five places around the arc 30 base badges one on hall of fame 20 on gold nine on silver 84 base three ball 80 standing nug 90 driving nug speed ball ball handle is just fine 88 speed acceleration 87 interior perimeter good lateral quickness now those are the good things about the car okay and just on the initial look, there's not many downfalls. Now, what are the what are the downsides? Well, the downsides are if you want to play Jeremy Grant at that power forward position, you really can't. Okay, why? He's not going to be able to rebound the ball. Okay, no rebound chaser, interceptor, brick wall, box out, beast, or anchor. He cannot play that power forward position. Now, the small forward position, if you have Monty Williams, he gets an 89 through about 93 speed, 92 interior, 92 perimeter. The card is nearly perfect if you play him at that small forward position. Now, this is, I, I was like, okay, Jeremy, Jer Jer Jeremy Grant looks pretty solid, but how does he compare to another guy that I absolutely love it at the small forward position, Franz Wagner? And Jeremy Grant is better, and it's not particularly close. And I love Franz Wagner. I, I absolutely am a big, big fan of Franz Wagner. But you look up and down the cards, it's truly not close. So just know Jeremy Grant is special. So that leads me to this about the Jeremy Grant card. Okay, so we know he's special stat badge-wise, and he's free. Okay, I, I, I can't overemphasize that. He's free. So let's look at the agendas. Okay. For me and my nobody spent squad series, 30 points, easy, five assists, easy, two rebounds, easy, one block, depends on his block rating, hopefully is easy, I don't know, I didn't make it look easy last time, one three-pointer, easy, nine free throws, easy. All of these challenges are easy. You should be able to get Jeremy Grant within like 30 minutes, right? Just go into a skills challenge with Jeremy Grant and do what you need to do. Now, the problem with it, okay, is the fact that you are going to need Jeremy Grant. So I'm going to go in here to the Trailblazers and get Jeremy Grant. Now, 20 tokens. Oh, man. I Hopefully, I don't already have Jeremy Grant. If I do, I'm going to be kind of disappointed in myself. Okay, I don't. So what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to come get Jeremy Grant. And let's look at this card's block rating. Because if his block rating is like below a 40, good luck. That's all I'm going to say is, is just good luck because it's not going to be easy. But this is what you're looking at, okay? 74 three ball, good enough. Block is a 63, should be easy enough to get done. I mean, you should be able to get this done relatively easy. I'm just throwing that out there. And just know for my no money spent squad series, Jeremy Grant is coming home. I mean, you look at the card, he's better than Franz Wagner. So like, I've got Franz right now, and I'm a big fan of Franz. Does he play for me? No. But even a guy like Jeremy Grant, compare him to Andrew Wiggins. I mean, three ball is the same. You look at the defense, basically the same. I mean, it's close. Is he better than Andrew Wiggins? I don't know. That's for you to decide, or even Diamond Braun. I mean, the opportunities, if you do run Jeremy Grant, are endless. What I might do is I might move Braun to that starting four, sell MPJ, and then just move Jeremy Grant to the back of three. Because again, I don't love him at that at the at the power forward position. I, he's definitely a small forward. Why? It's because of his rebounding, more importantly than anything. But can we just take a few seconds, a few moments, to say thank you, 2K? I mean, look, it's this simple. Like, if you want to know how to get the challenge, then again, 30 points, five assists, two rebounds, one block, one three-pointer. Honestly, get the nine free throws. Get all of that done. In the skills challenges just go in here doing inside scoring challenges boom just like that you're gonna be able to get that done probably in 30 minutes depending on the free throws that might be the hard part i, I don't know how hard it is gonna be depends on his draw foul rating stuff like that but you should be able to get it done i'm telling you guys right now the amethyst jeremy grant if you are no money spent is a great way to start your squad this is what people in the community have been wanting to get for quite some time he's got an 88 draw foul that shouldn't be a concern why it's because this he's i'm gonna say and you guys can disagree if you want 
I'm gonna say he's on the level of a like diamond LeBron James, okay? So instead of going out and spending how much, you know, 30,000 MT on Diamond Bron, maybe even more, 30,000 MT, 34,000 MT on Diamond Bron. You can go pick up this this card for 20 tokens. You can go grind 30 minutes to an hour of challenges. I mean, everybody should be able to get it done in an hour as long as the block is not hard and you should be moving and grooving. Combine all that with the fact that you get 20 tokens, you get a moment's trophy case, a current trophy case, all these things along the way that I'm not even, I'm not even talking about those, but you get those along the way. So to me, this is a no brainer. Why would you not get this done? I, 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 I just, look, if you, look, if you have, you know, the best cards in the game, like let's say you got Anthony Davis and uh, Tim Thomas as your power forwards. Of course, guys, don't go in and waste your time on Jeremy Green. He's probably not worth it. But for my No Money Spent Squad series, he's absolutely perfect, right? I mean, his release is fine. He's got pro dribble style, which is a little bit of a concern. Normal leaner. You guys will see that all that in the gameplay. I mean, he's got a lot of those things that you do like. I mean, a decent enough release. It's straight up and down. It's not necessarily the quickest, but it should be easy to easy to time, easy to green. So a good release. Great defensively. Rebounding, yes. I'm a little worried with it. But again, at that small forward position, it doesn't worry me nearly as much. I think he can fit my squad perfectly. And you're going to see him. I mean, I'm, I'm going to get him on my no money spent. We'll test him out in a gameplay later to see really how good Jeremy Grant can be. Again, if you're just starting my team, honestly, it's a great time to get in the game. You guys can see I sold a lot of my things, but it's a great time to get into my team right now. Start your squad with Jeremy Grant. Pick up some budget ballers, Alex Crusoe, DeJounte Murray, Diamond Cream, Diamond Vanderbilt. And before you know it, you're going to have a decent budget squad that can go out there and you can compete with. And Jeremy Grant's a, a great star. I'm not saying he's going to be the best player on any given day for any given team, because he's not. He is the definition of a role player, the definition of a 3 and D type player. But he's better than some of the other moments. Like, if you want to compare him to what, what we have so far, and the reason I'm so excited is because we got Jalen Brunson. Now, this card wasn't that bad, but he was not great, okay? Then we saw Keldon Johnson. Now, this card is a bona fide scrub, okay? I'm not even going to sit here and lie. Keldon Johnson stinks in my team. And so now that we got a good card in Jeremy Grant, yeah, I'm excited. There's reasons to be excited. This card can do it all, honestly, at any level of my team. The only thing he can't do is rebound the ball. Everything else, this card has got. So that's why I'm excited, guys. Make sure to tune into the No Money Spent to watch me grind for Jeremy Grant. Hopefully, I can get it done relatively quickly. Also, guys, man, make sure you do turn it, uh, tune into the Jeremy Grant gameplay to see if, if Jeremy Grant is worth it for you and your specific squad because, again, it really does depend on what your squad does look like. But that is going to wrap it up for our breakdown video of the new Amethyst, Jeremy Grant, and my team. Shout out to my team. Okay? I mean, shout out to 2K. Uh, it's just it's crazy that they gave us a solid moments card. Like, it's crazy that we basically have to beg for it, but we do. And it is what it is. We finally got one in my team. A massive W. Drop a like on the video, guys. Subscribe if you are new and as always, man. I love you guys. Have a blessed day.